everybody. Hey. <laughs> hey, that worked. That was awesome. <laughs> so here we are. Yeah. Whoa, funny. why'd you turn down so I quick? Like I don't know. I, I just did. Like, Hey, that's the last time we have him saying that. <laughs> <laughs> he panics. He's all... <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Oh, look at that sweet tremolo. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're back again a couple weeks later, and we just posted our newest one, yep. episode 15. 15. 15. It just went up today. 15 which, years, guys. 15 clumsy and shy. Or 16. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> no, this hey, is episode cl 16, clumsy and shy. Yeah, this is, yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's very fitting. <laughs> No, I'm saying for how we're starting out, <laughs> we're clumsy. Uh, a very clumsy start. Yeah. So, yeah, that's half a person. Yeah. That's one of the songs we're going to be talking about today. Or so, so. Um, what, what about comments? I thought we had a couple of comments. Yeah, this guy told us that we were, me and Kaz were the best and that Steve sucks. <laughs> yeah. That's we, the only comment we, we got. We gotta ban that guy. Did we get any other comments? I thought, I thought Dave made made another comment. Yeah, you said you guys suck I gotta, now. I gotta look at this now. I know, now I'm kinda like, oh shoot. Here uh, Kevin's doing yeah. I, I just know because when I posted it this morning, I I, I had an alert. Oh, Dave did. Oh. Okay, read, read Dave's. Um. I love the, who? Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Dave. Whoa. Says. Wrote a book. Uh, great video. I love these stray songs, singles, b-sides, whatever. Thanks to Louder Than Bombs, we needn't scour the record bins like magpies to collect most of them uh, back then. Yep. I was always but we still did. Yeah. <laughs> I was always fond of the instrumentals. Money Changes Everything seems closely related to How Soon Is Now, plus they gave Morrissey a chance to have a sip of something in between songs. I always thought it was because he just needed to go to the bathroom and couldn't hold it. Um, <laughs> I know it's gone past, but I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the on the new Queen is Dead release. Oh, yeah. Some cool demos and one or two surprises. Thanks. No, oh, thank you, David. <laughs> yeah, so, and then Steve, this guy Steve, what, some, what some stalker. Um, this, uh, St uh, Steven with, uh, with a V uh, says, <laughs> you guys are so cool, especially Kaz and Mark. I thought the other one was given a note card asking him to leave. He was. He was. He, still, <laughs> he didn't get the hand. I'm like Milton. He took from, notes on the other side. I'm like Milton from Office Space. I haven't got my check yet. <laughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you about my check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Steve, you're an integral part of the Handsome Hooligan, so uh -huh. we wouldn't be who Does we are. Does that mean I get 5%? <laughs> Since I'm such an integral part, I would five percent, twenty, no, twenty five percent. Everybody gets twenty five percent. That's the way it is. Bam, bam, bam. So you get twenty five percent. You get twenty five percent. You get twenty five percent. And yeah, our viewers yeah. get twenty five percent. No, the oh. viewers, the viewers don't get twenty five percent. Warner, any Warner. extra twenty five percent is taken. By you know what? The mic choice. You know what? I think that I was thinking about this. Uh, you know, Warner Brothers wants a percentage of us. Yeah. So they actually owe us money because we we spent like you know <laughs> microphones. And stuff. So, so they, they if it works both ways, they they need to pay us for now until we start making some serious YouTube money. Ooh. Which is never going to happen because we're getting less and less views. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. That's because we haven't been as as uh, as active. Yeah, as we yeah. should be. But you know what? The thing is, it doesn't. It's just fun doing it. So, and I like yeah. watching them. I, I laugh. So it's fun for me, at least. Yeah. Elise likes watching them too. Does she? Yeah, she watches all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Last one was really good. I can't wait to watch this one that came out today. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get in. So we got the comments. Thank you for commenting. Dave and Steve, whoever you are. Where's the Steve guy from? <laughs> Nebraska or somewhere? Probably Nebraska. Well, that's where all the cool people live is in Nebraska. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's why, and why did you move here? Because <laughs> I wasn't cool. The, to get away from the cool people <laughs> no, of Nebraska. I, I wasn't cool. Hey. I was kicked out of the state, remember? <laughs> You're hey, remember your recent motto by Devo? 
We're Whip through it. being it. cool. Yeah, we're through being cool. He's been yeah. singing that all week. Because we're through done. being cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, so uh, we're going over a uh, couple of singles uh, from 1987. They came out. Um, do, uh, let's just jump into it then. All right. Uh, first one's going to be Shoplifters of the World. Shoplifters of the World. Turn it up, man. You can't hear that. Maybe a little more. Okay. Okay. All right. Mark, do you have any accordion parts for this one? Well, th there is an accordion part in there. Listen. See, there it is. <laughs> No, wait, I think I might have a note on. Oh, wait, actually, I like this one. This one's interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, continue. I love the accordion part in it that you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, this one's interesting because uh, there's that, where's it, whenever uh, Morsi, uh, wait, and always, and then there's the, the backing vocal too uh -huh. with it. This one almost reminds me of like a hair band song. Like it's hair band, like it's a little more rock. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like I mean, rock solid. Yeah, like like they're yeah. You have that the guy backing up, but then you have the solo too. Yeah, you got the and guitar solo. So let's listen to it a little bit more with the. Yeah, where's the solo? Oh, um, dang it! I think it's at 140. Okay, so we're out here. This is 130. And here it comes. Here it goes. Oh, dang. No, it's coming. Yeah. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah! I love it. Yeah. No. That's, okay, so I turn it down a little bit. No, that's like... We'll it's, probably still get dinged. It's song, like... But. Well, no, because... Well, we'll see. That's but fine. but I, I like how uh, um, it's really J uh, Johnny Marsh's first solo. Yeah. Like yeah. and people freaked out about it because people were like getting up or uh, some people you know Smith's purists were like he's becoming a rock guitarist you yeah. know not a Smith's guy. Uh, as well, he starts dressing more like uh, 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 Keith. Keith Richards. Keith Richards. There you go. Of the Rolling Stones. He started. Oh. Well, doing yeah, but he always done that. Well, yeah, but no, like, uh, the Queen is Dead, like, era, especially, was him going through that sort of that sort of stage and like getting into these really big uh, rock antics, where like he would grab the drumsticks from Mike Joyce and play along with them too, and start beating his guitar strings. Really? The Queen is Dead. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and that's how they open their shows. Huh. Okay, so I like it. I mean, so it, it's, it's a little a little bit of a departure because it's kind of harder. Yeah. A harder song. You know, I mean, as in the tone of it. Yeah. But I like it. Yeah, no. It's kind of, it, it kind of, I mean, it's still Smith's, you know, but it's a different sound. And, uh, I mean, I like, I like the hair kind of. That, that guitar solo, it's just, you you just never expect it from a Smith song. But it's just like kind of, I remember when I was young listening to it, I was like, this is so cool. That's so cool, huh? Yeah, no, that's a... Uh, Uh-oh. Yeah, Steve, cool it's so cool. I think oh, right. this is Game one of the... Game or something. This is also <laughs> one of the first ones. Oh, no. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, let's hear this. Oh, no. To, to compare it. Okay, here. I'm gonna skip ahead. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not that much of a hair band song. <laughs> Let's hear a better Cinderella song. Okay, here, right here. There you go. <laughs> Dude, cowbell up front. 
Wait, let's say Workers for the Weekend by Lover. Lover. I don't have that one. Oh, I love that song. Anyway, okay. Okay, so. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's solo. Wait, we better. Okay, so we've determined that it's not a hair. It's, it's the Smith's closest thing to a hair metal song, but it's not at all. So anybody who thought that Johnny Marr was becoming too rock, all they had to do was listen to something like this. Or we could go to Twisted Sister. Well, you know what? The thing is, is that... No, let's not go to Twisted Sister. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, you know, this, this, this single came out... You know what? Actually, though, the single, it's got Shoplifters... London and half a person on it. Yeah. So London's actually kind of a a punky, yeah. you know, song too. So I mean, it's just interesting. Uh, just change of events or change up, change up that you see on their singles. It's like they exper they're kind of experimenting with things. Yeah. And it, that's great. You I know, think but it is. oh, actually, it's it's later, but actually. Speaking of, uh, Dave was talking about The Queen is Dead. Have you guys heard The New Queen is Dead with I've all heard, the other stuff on it? I've heard some of this stuff. Yeah, uh, it's like... Like the demo for uh, I Know It's Over and Boy with the Thorn in the Side. But the, the, the demo for... Uh, oh, what song is that? Where they got the... Uh, oh, that song that is probably the worst song on the album. In my opinion. Uh, this third song. Never had no one ever. Yeah, there's this whole, what? <laughs> I'm already talking about this. You're out of here. <laughs> Wait, what? What? I'd say I said it's the worst song on the album. Would you concur? No. What's the worst song on the album? The empty space in between tracks. That's the worst of that album. No, it's the best part because it makes you anticipate the next song. See, okay. no, but see, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to agree. But he's like, actually, yes, but I'm not going to say it. Aww. Would you say that's the worst song in the album? I'm not saying it's a, a no, it's a bad song. But it, it's the worst song in the album. Um, hey, iTunes, I'm does, just saying, iTunes doesn't have the, is this just uh, record store only? No, they no. should have it. Do you have a... Uh, Anyway, we don't need to get into it totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah we don't need to get but into there's, it. But there's a, before. on, have no one ever... Um, or never had no one ever. Hold on, I'll, I'll get it, Cassie. Because oh, Dave, oh. Dave's got it. Do you? Um, there it is, deluxe edition. <clears throat> yeah. At the end of that, there's this uh, saxophone thing that's really interesting. It's I know pretty, it's, it's over live cool. in Boston. No, it's uh, <clears throat> the song we're talking about. This the worst song on the album. Oh, never had no one ever. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get to say it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you gotta don't, don't worry about it. We'll. Anyway, he's gonna get it. Anyways. I'm saying it's 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 cool because you can see that they were that they experimented a lot more than you think. Yeah, you know, because yeah. you get you get these songs and you're like, whoa, that's. But they tried some different things before that might not have worked. Like, frankly, Mr. Shankly, have you heard the one with the? Oh yeah, the one really cheesy. With the trumpets. Yeah, you're just like, what the heck? I'm glad they took that out because yeah. it just didn't fit. And. And if that was, um, I think that was actually uh, Stephen Street's idea, or someone well, in the studio was just like, oh no. You know what Johnny Marr talked about back when he was uh, when they did Handsome Devil, they had a guy would come in with the saxophone. He talked about it in his autobiography. That's right. And you know because <clears throat> I mean that was you know it's kind of a punky song or whatever and a lot of some, you know some early punk and stuff used sax and stuff but it just he just said it just didn't sound right didn't work out so probably okay so which one was that yeah uh, uh never had no one ever demo yeah yes okay anyway so we'll it's whatever it it's yeah like we'll, we'll get to it yeah but it's interesting the end of it like, like never had no one ever yeah because Oh, Mark! <laughs> just lost our oh, place, man! Thank goodness we got this bookmark. Oh, what's this? Oh, a Morrissey ticket? It so is a Morrissey June ticket. June 11th from 1991. I was at that concert. So I was at that concert. So I lost a t-shirt. Trying to throw it up on stage. I did it. It was this cool green. It wasn't even, didn't even have anything on it, but... You thought maybe... I watched too many, too many of those videos. Where people... Slice live, yeah. 
<laughs> They're probably so, closer. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I'm like in the ninth row. <laughs> it's never going to even make it. Somebody gets hit in the back of the head with a shirt. Who threw this freaking sweaty shirt at me? Like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, so. Um, that, was a, that was a bad venue for that. Oh, I mean, be, yeah, between the stage and like the first row, it was like 20 feet. Yeah. It was right. horrible. Okay. Here, but let's, uh, anyway. let's wrap up Shoplifters and then we'll play Never Yeah, so shop, anything about Shoplifters, um, the he, the thing on there. Oh, he had to apologize. Morsi had to apologize. That's right. Like, uh, Jet, he talks about it like the record company was so worried. Oh, you've got to make a statement about, you know, that you don't mean actual shoplifting. Oh, my god. You goodness. mean, you know, so... Uh, or yeah. you won't get any rec or any airplay and stuff, and then Morse like, I don't get any airplay anyway. But he ended up kind of giving in. Are you okay, Kaz? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I, I'm checking what's in my pockets. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you're just distracting me. Like, what's he pulling out? Is it a beef jerky stick? <laughs> he's he's a he's a magician. <laughs> yeah, some beef jerky. Yeah, just keep talking. I'm just looking in here. <laughs> but uh. Anyway, so he had to publicly issue a statement, you know, and it still didn't get any airplay, but... Yeah. Um, I think they also had little tote bags that yeah. got the single. Yeah, yeah, so that for the first week, they had these tote bags, so shoplifters. But I think it's a really... I like the lyric, shoplifters of the world unite takeover. Yeah. I mean, because I just think it's true that, you know what? If if we all united, we could just take whatever we wanted, you know. Well, that, that it's oh, the shoplifters ahead. are the politicians. They've already united and took yeah. over, though. See, look, he says, "Hand it over, shoplifters of the world, hand it over." In other words, oh. you took it from us, give it back to us. I guess I guess that would make the politicians. Yeah, because I've always seen this more as a political statement than wow. anything else. I like that. Yeah, because I always thought like. Yeah, we we're we're kind of letting all these things have power. Let you could we could just start taking stuff if we want. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let, but so, but I like it the other way too that they're the ones that are in charge. Well, the the reason I say and it has nothing to do with today and not to talk about politics, but there was a, a poll that came out in America that the Republican Party only has like thirty percent favorable rating, mm -hmm. and the Democrat Party only has like thirty seven percent favorable rating, yet. They're the ones that make up the entire Congress. Well, yeah, it's like, but why do you guys keep voting these guys in if you don't like them? It's like they're taking over. So yeah, that, that's, that's why. I see, that's a whole other. They, well, they, yeah, but that's why I see yeah. this is more political. No, I, I like I like that. Even take. with a, a a very negative rating, and even back in the eighties. No, but I, I think Congress and the Senate, the actual their ratings are down in 15, 20 percent. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking anyway, about just parties. Yeah, parties alone, but. But even in the 80s, it's Thatcher like, oh. was really well loved here in America. And by by the, what was it, the Conservative Party in Britain? But she was hated and loathed by everybody else. Like Morrissey. Yeah, yeah Morrissey. Morrissey. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, yeah. No, that's, that's, that's true. Actually, they're the real shoplifters. You know, because they're stealing from us and not even, we yeah. don't even realize it. They took the world from us. I remember Dave had this dream. Uh oh. <laughs> and no, it's, it's it has to do with this where he was outside of the store and he yeah. he was like lifting it up to to get something or whatever, and they they came to arrest him for shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a dream. Uh, Dave, comment that. Sure, I swear. He I remember him telling me. He's gonna like, call. He's gonna be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Boy. <laughs> you're That's crazy. Weird. You imagine that. Okay, so but yeah, it's an interesting thing in that there's a lot of fear. Because the way that these shoplifters, if I'm taking your way, mm -hmm. you know, with the, the politicians, is yeah. it's being pushed by the, you know, but last night the plan for a future war was all I saw on Channel 4. Yeah. So they're, you know, a lot of the ways that they work on being able to get everything they want is by fear. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but I agree. Nothing about fake news or anything. Um, anyways. <laughs> Uh, this, Welcome to the political podcast, yeah. right or left. Back, back to the. Sense. And Trump said, "Oh, speaking of that, though, Trump will destroy America." Morrissey said that. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's so stupid. Okay, so fu funny story. His politics are so screwed up. Funny story. It, it doesn't really have to do anything with politics. It was just funny when, uh, <laughs> when you said <laughs> left or right. Cats. Were you trying to say something, Kaz? Were you trying to say something? I'm never trying to say anything. I just have a funny story. It seemed like you were trying to move story. on. Are you trying to move on, Kaz? Move on to org. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep this All political. I'm saying is hand it over. Hand it over. Hand it over. <laughs> okay. But... <laughs> That's think about it. So, when I was serving an LDS mission in California, uh -huh. one of the areas I served in, there was a guy that would always hold up signs, and he had the cops called on him one day because he kept doing this to everybody. And it was really weird. So everybody thought he was flipping everybody off. He's like, "You don't want to look left. You don't want to look right." You want to look to the heavens. Oh, look to But everybody uh, thought that he was uh, flipping everybody off because he was on the street corner. You can't get arrested for flipping people off. <laughs> no, they called the cops on him because he was because they thought he was making obscene gestures on the corner. <laughs> he was like, no, look up in the heavens. And everyone was like, look, he's flipping me off. Like, look in the heavens, mother. <laughs> I didn't flip. God, I was like, kind of like it. I mean, anyway. From a certain angle. <laughs> From a certain angle, you just gave me the bird and that okay. cyberbullying. So let's move on to um, London. London. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, oh. never had no one ever de demo, oh, right? Oh, yes, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, you just skip to the end. I mean, basically, because... So just skip to the end. It's pretty cool. Actually, I like it because... Anyway, it goes on for... Turn up a little. <laughs> like, this is the life, man. Like, old timey, like, <laughs> like ragtime or jazz. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, but I'm just saying they were trying different things. They were. Yeah. So, it's an interesting end. It doesn't fit, really. It doesn't go with this, the, yeah. the whole album. Yeah. Yeah. But on its own, it's kind of interesting, yeah. I mean, and they did eventually use horns, but that's... How about Cemetery Gates? Did they do anything weird with They it? played accordion, okay? Here, play the Cemetery Gates real quick. I they, just want to hear it. If we can invited, hear the accordion more. They invited me to play accordion. I played on it. And I... I am the fifth smith. Sounds more raw. Yeah. I mean, it is a demo. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. We better. Hold on. Hold on. We're squeeze box, baby. Hey, somebody else, back me up on the third <laughs> of accordion in that song. You can hear it. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to listen. I, it's like anyone who wants to back mark up. Go back to the episode where we actually looked at Cemetery Gates and uh, go to the part where Mark goes, Alright, the accordion comes in here. Here. And you can hear it. Here. It's very background. That's no. the thing about the horns. Is that <laughs> no, the it's horns not. are so up front. It's just if not they have in the background. No, it is. Mark, it's so in the background because okay, somebody... it's just in your head. No, it's so in the background, it was in the other building. It's so in the background, <laughs> it wasn't even there. Alright, well. Weird Al was in the building somewhere. Yeah, Weird Al was in the building next to him <laughs> recording his album. That's where you heard it. <laughs> it kind of bled through. <laughs> okay, you guys Another ready? Another one rides the bus. I'm gonna be seeing Weird Al in May, by the way. Oh. Really? Yeah. For what? For his incredibly stupid uh, self-aggrandizing tour or whatever. I think it's called something like that. Oh, you're gonna go see him? Yeah, at oh. Mesa in Mesa. So, anyway. All right. I'm looking forward to that. We might have okay. to do a Weird Al podcast. The Weird Al cast. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think this song has a little bit of accordion. You want to? Yeah. Let's hear this. London. Here we okay, go. Here we go. London. Here, turn up a little. There was that was accordion. See, now this is the hair band. Uh, no, this is punk. Punk, yeah. Or, yeah, punk. Sorry. Sure, sure. Punk. Okay. I just don't want to have one. Well, yeah. I understand. You can kind of keep it down and we'll, yeah. we'll talk. How about right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so that, that distortion at the beginning is like pretty cool. Yeah. And then, because it's supposed to be like a train whistle. Oh. 
Because yeah, song... well, it's kind of got that drum beat, like kind of like in uh, what song was it off of Meet His Murder? The best rockabilly song on there that's got that. No, we're fast. Oh. Is it the, where? What you said? No, we're fast. No, no right? No, we're fast. fast. Okay. We're yeah, where it's but it's got that. Oh yeah, kind yeah, of that, that is no rhythmic. Fast. Rhythmic yeah, uh, like, like drums. Tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a song about. This has the, the same thing. About? This has the same thing. Listen. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And then even whenever at the end, let's just kind of jump to the end, where it kind of does like a kind of like like yeah. Then yeah. goes the train. Off to Houston, which is the, which is the, uh, the train stop. If you're going from Manchester to London, you that's where it drop you off. Uh, that was the main place that people would go. I I, I don't Houston know Station. if you've ever uh, seen this somewhere, but I remember reading this about like a a TV presenter or something who met Morrissey at a train station, and Morrissey started talking to him about what his favorite train station oh, it, was. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it was uh, John Peel. Oh, it was John Peel. Him. Yeah, I actually just read this. Um, where's the, is that, that's not in um, this song. They talk, actually they talk about it in, is it really so strange that, that, that stop? They actually, he actually mentions it. Oh, really? So Let's we'll see. get to that. Um, is it really so strange? Yeah, we'll get to that later. Wait, do you have lyrics, Steve? I don't. Well, sucks to be you. <laughs> All right. So uh, I knew that no, I'll give you. Was gonna come back to haunt me. Um, okay, so the, the what you're referencing is uh, I think it's Jefferson. Oh, I lost my bag in in Newport, Pag, uh, Pag, Pag now. I don't know. Newport, Pag now. That's that's the that's a uh, a stop. Yeah. You know, a shop where you stop along the the fr the freeway, and that's that's where what's his name? John Peel. John Peel met him. See, um, you need some lyrics. Yeah. Uh, Here, I'm just coming down. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Kaz. <gasps> uh, it's... Okay. Excuse me, I had a uh, whooping cough. Whoopy, whooping um, cough. I I really like this song. There's so much uh, good imagery in this song, uh, lyrically and musically. Okay. Um, Share. Uh, take take this bit in the middle. Um, you left your tired family grieving, and you think they're sad because you're leaving. But didn't you see the jealousy in the eyes of the ones who had to stay behind? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, because it's like you know, they're actually yeah, they're probably looking sad, but the sadness is caused by yeah. they're upset. Why do I have to stay in freaking Manchester and you get to go? That's what I said about I'm this in. place. It's like, why do I have to stay in Arizona? Help everybody else gets to leave. Where are they going? I don't know. Arizona's the best. No, it isn't. Arizona's the best. Hey, we're the only state that in the United States. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky to be here. Because if, if otherwise we, I'd have to live in the airport. <laughs> when we finally build that wall down south, you are going to be on the other I'm side. Be of on the other side. Arizona is the only state the Simpsons won't go to because it stinks. <laughs> but I'm saying like uh, we're we're the only state that has saguaro cactuses. No other state in the. Uh, it's true. No, it is it, true. It is true. No, down in Mexico they have them, but yeah. no. we're the only state that. Yes. Yes, the, it, the Sonoran come on. Desert is only in, in right here. No, 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 no. Shake my hand. I have seen saguaro cactuses in California. No, you haven't. Yes, no. I have. Nope. Cats, right here. Come on. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's not true. But anyway, it's, it's native. It's I mean, down in Mexico they have them, but California. Okay, so anyway, enough <laughs> no, of like, the cactus. To no. Do. Yeah. So um, Arizona's the best. So this. Uh, the whole like atmosphere of the song really adds to like the anxiety of the lyrics. Like, oh, you think your family is sad because you're going? No, it's because they want to be gone. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you've made the right decision this time? But she knows when you got. Wait, you left your girlfriend on the platform. With this really ragged notion that you will return. But she knows when he goes he really goes they're just talking about a bathroom break there yeah like he really goes 
Oh, oh yeah, anyway. uh, heave on to Houston. Yeah, that's that was the train station. But I like the the smoke linger, just the imagery, the yeah. smoke lingering around your fingers, you know, smoking a cigarette and getting out of this town. You know, you're like, as you're oh, throw, I thought it, throw your smoke out. I thought it was like the smoke and like the fog from like the trains or whatever. Oh, that could be too. Um, yeah. I don't, but I'm saying way. like, you imagine the guy flicking his cigarette and getting on the train and like, I'm out of here. Yeah. I feel like most people, um, Let's see what it says here. <laughs> yeah. uh, the original Italian. Oh, so beautiful. You have to align the text and the... Yeah. It's not working. What happened? Oops, canceled, canceled. Anyway... You have to align the text, you gotta get it closer. Yeah, but... That's weird, it's not working. I'm sorry, guys. We okay, I'm guessing sure. Fumo is smoke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Fumo, si form for a not a turno a la dita. You guys keep talking, I'll get this word. Oh. Wait, what were we saying? Anyway, this song's really cool. It's got this, you know, driving beat with the... Uh, um, this kind of a little punky yeah. sound. But then... Then at the end, he he brings Johnny Marr back into it. Yeah. You know, with it with his little kind of, you know, picking that. So it's it's. Yeah. I mean, I just think this song is really really great. Yeah. Like this single, Shoplifters. Yeah. Like probably one of the best single releases with. I mean, I'm saying in in terms of all the songs that are on it. Oh, the next definitely. One, half a person. Yeah. Which is probably. Oh, here, hold on. I want to take a well, we second hear, longer on. London. Um, I feel like uh, everyone I've shown this song to uh, has right from the start been like, oh, what is this? And then as the song progresses, they're like, okay. Because I think just the uh, the train whistle at the beginning really sets them off. Because it's so yeah, it's discordant. Just, yeah. Discordant. I didn't really, I didn't, you know, I, I, I never know. thought of it as a train whistle, but that actually, when you listen to it, and then think about the whole context of what it's saying. That makes total sense. And it actually, whenever you, I'm like, oh yeah, it does sound like a whistle. Woo! To every, I don't know, the things, you know? Or even a, a train screeching to a halt. Oh, yeah. You know, it could be, anyway, it could be a lot of things. Steve? Yeah? How's the original Italian going? <laughs> For some reason, the Google Translate doesn't want to... Translate? Yeah. We'll see if we can get the original Italian. Yeah, maybe we can do. Okay, so let's so move on to Half a Person. Half a Person, which is a great song. Let's see. <coughs> um, while Steve's screwing around, I could get Half a Person. Is it? What? You want Half a Person? Sure. Oh, you know what? Maybe try switching these. It's not working, man. No. This is gonna be half the podcast if we, if we keep yeah. on screwing with this. Yeah, I know. You know what? Screw it. We'll figure it out later for the next one. Oh, yeah. half a person. Okay. Oh, this one was actually recorded in '86. I think some of these were. Um... You ready for half a person? Yeah. Bring it up. You want me to start from the beginning or? Yeah. Yeah. Start from the very beginning. Okay. Um, you know the song that the part I like is that T have a vacancy for and then I took myself. Yeah. Turn up. I went to London and I like that. Yeah. Just these little things that, that he does. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> so this is along the same lines of London where it's somebody on a trip or going somewhere. Yeah. I let's let's uh half so, a person. 
Half a I, person. You know, I totally relate to this song. Morrissey said it was YWCA. about him stalking. What? Because you stayed at the YWCA? Yeah. You know what? There is no YWCA or YMCA anymore. What is it? The Y. Why? <laughs> I don't no, know why. I was just saying the name. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> but that's weird. I mean, people who, who are, you know, coming up today, they're like, what's the YWCA? It's it's the Y. I mean, it, the Young it used Women's to, Christian Association. Association. Yeah, Young Men's Christian Association, Young Women's Christian Association. They drop Men, Women, Christian Association. It's just Y. Well, there's there there there's a couple of uh, songs uh, like old Elvis songs and stuff where, or you know, and different ones where they're like travel logs, kind of like this one. Yeah. But where he they mentioned getting. Going to the YMCA, staying at the YMCA. There's also that song by the Village People. Oh, the anyway, Village but Man. but I'm saying so. Morrissey took it and twisted it. Why, you know, turn that M upside down. Y W C A to make it, you yeah. know, his own little thing. Ooh. Oh look, it's it right there. Echo Lienza, uh, per Giovanni Dome. For people, women. <laughs> I don't know. Giovanni. I think that means oh. person. Oh, anyway, so, uh... Young Women's Christian Association. Wait, let's hear the it lyrics. It's still not... Okay. Anyway, let's, let's, okay. let's, let's not get distracted. We got, we got a pot, or... Uh, yeah, go. Um, go. so... Morrissey said that this was a stalking song. Stalking, not stalking. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that there, there's the... Um, uh, I've spent six... Uh, call me morbid, call me pale. I've spent six years on your trail. Six full years of my life on your trail. Yeah. And then he's like, I just, just give me five seconds and I'll tell you the story of my life. And then he goes on. Um, but uh, Mark's starting to tear up. <gasps> I don't know. You put tears. How do you, you stop put, tears? How do you so, stop tears? No, like I'm saying, what do you do? Like, what's the... Never mind. <laughs> well, I was like... Like, I was like, kind of like, stopping a sneeze, but... Oh. Like, I guess you push them up in your You eyes. just no. put two tissues in your <laughs> eyes. Poke your eyes out. Oh, yeah. Poke your eyes out. Poke your eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> I love the accordion in this song, but uh, <laughs> but it reminds me of, as, especially when I was young, I could totally relate to the song because I remember there was this girl that I was obsessed with for a couple of years, and even though she went to the same school and everything, you know, I could never bring myself to talk to her. So I felt like I was following her, you know, kind of like the more she's talking about, uh -huh. but, and like, oh, it, you know. Was this in high school? No, this is in junior high. Oh. oh, but I had it in high school too. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so there's many girls, but I, I never did it in like a creepy way. I mean, okay, I put that dead rabbit outside of her house that one time, but <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> but but anyway, so I've been there, and whenever I would used to listen to the song, I was like, oh my gosh, I totally hear what he's saying. You know, sixteen, teenager, clumsy and shy. You know, you're, you're awkward and everything, mm -hmm. so. That song has a lot of good lines in it, very quotable. Yeah, like, uh, uh, she was left behind the sour room and when she wrote, and she wrote to me Equally on down. the hour. I didn't realize that was lyric. Dang it. I thought it was, she was left behind and sad and she wrote to me equally down. I don't know. She said in the days that when you were hopelessly poor, I just liked you more. I like that line. Yep. You know. She exists. She does? Yeah. Morrissey gave an interview and said, this song is autobiographical. That did he person, name names? No, he didn't. But he said, this is a true story that happened to him. He left, got semi-famous, came back and said, how about now? And she said, you know, I actually liked you when you were, <laughs> no, before, you were before you were famous. <laughs> wow. So he said that this person actually exists. I don't know who it is. He didn't say. But he said that person actually exists. What the heck is a backscrubber? You don't know a backscrubber? 
I mean, scrubbing bags. <laughs> What's a back scrubber? It's like this long. Br it's like this brush on the on at the end of a long handle. Use it in the shower and it's. Oh, I thought it was a job. Do you have a vacancy for a back scrubber? Well, it's got to mean something else. Then just. No, well, I'm I'm oh, sure go it's. Go. Cat. Cat. It's Cat. just more. Cat. It's just more the, uh being like, oh, instead of. Uh, needing to use one of those, you can just use me, you know? Yeah. It's like, um... Sensual massage. You know, like... like Is that what you're saying? Somebody says, I'm gonna go take a shower. Well, you need me to... to oh, you need a back scrubber. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll pay... I, that's how he's gonna pay the rent. <laughs> okay. That's an interesting take. I don't know. Yeah. But um, I just love the, the whole idea of the... I, there's something about this song that... Just the mu the way the music is and everything, and then the story. I, I love this. That, I love the music on this. Yeah, let's play it a little more. Oh. Oh. Uh, put up. No, 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 play it a little more. Well, Steve was pointing at some lyrics that he probably wanted to talk about. So he's the back scrubber. A back scrubber. <laughs> so, the music is very good, but the, there's one. Far too long chasing your tail. Okay, this is a true story. True story, and Mark, you know it. He, he lived part of the story, too. Chasing somebody's tail? So, when I was ejected out of Nebraska, and I, I moved down here... You're ejected. <laughs> hey, Steve, I know the story your dad moved here, oh, and you came with him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I can't let this lie go on any longer. Okay, when we moved down to Nebraska... <laughs> uh, Arizona. Or, moved out of Nebraska, down to Arizona, uh, one of my one of our family friends came up to Nebraska to help us move down, and he brought his yearbook. Remember his his Chandler High yearbook. And I was looking through, it and I was like, "She is really hot. I want to date her." And Jason said, "Well, you know, you're gonna have to get to know her friend because she's always around a friend." And it was Janice and Elise, and I really liked Elise. And so in high school, what? I'm not kidding. I, I haven't heard the story. You knew that. I, mean, I know you that I was up. always, always. Uh, well, yeah, I know you always had this little candle thing. burn or yeah. whatever you want to call so, it. So, but but that's torch, torch burning. <laughs> what do you call that? A witch burning. <laughs> a witch burning. A witch. <laughs> She's a witch. So anyway, I always really liked Elise, and that's funny. And I want. I mean, to not funny. Her. I'm saying that you, way back. From the yearbook. Yeah, that's that's where I first saw the picture, and I was like, I really like her. I wanna I wanna get with her, and, and take uh, a picture. And, and Jason said, Well, she's always hanging around Janice. You're gonna have to get to know Janice, and Janice is dating this real big, uh, like jock, jock type of person. Yeah. He was and a nice I was like, guy. Oh dang, yeah, Willie. yeah. Willie was was really cool. actually. I saw him. Anyway. So anyway, all through nice high guy. school, and one of our friends. One of our friends was just in love with love back then. I mean, kind of today, too. But Who? Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> yeah, so he was always trying to set Kevin's everybody awesome. up. And so every, yeah, time, he was. every time he was around Elise, he's like, hey, Elise, guess what? Steven likes you. And that made Elise <laughs> really afraid of me at this yeah, point because she thought I was a stalker. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Well, she didn't like you. She Well, not that I mean, way. in that sense. Yeah. You know, I mean... Things change, obviously, you know, because even my current well, wife, that's my only wife. And that's <laughs> my only wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying we had these different times where yeah. she liked me and I, I didn't like her. And, you know, over the over these years, yeah. things changed. And then all of a sudden we came together and it was like, oh, we both like each other. Sweet. Well, so so even, it's not saying anything bad. I, I know, but even this line here, but far you got too better long chasing, you older. Uh, far too long chasing your tail, right? So... Uh, once you know, once we actually really started dating, she was honestly afraid that I had spent far too long chasing her tail. That that it was no longer interesting for me, and I was just going to walk away. That the 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 real that the real um, uh, excitement was oh. was just in the chase, and now mm. that I caught her, it was like, oh, he's gonna go. And so is that true? No, I married her. Why now? <laughs> How many years are you into it now? Twenty. We just celebrated our twenty oh, yeah, you anniversary. Oh yeah, for. Yeah, we they, just. They let him back in. Yeah, they let <laughs> him back in, so I could watch the freaking stupid college football team lose again. The Huskies. Huskers. Huskies no, are up in Washington. 
The Sun Suckers. Well, they lost too, so. <laughs> the Corn Suckers. <laughs> they, they, corn they are the Corn Suckers, all right. Yeah, so. But anyway, that that's you know that lyric is just kind of funny because whenever I see it now, I just think of Elise telling me, "I thought you were." I, I thought once I started giving in to you, you were just going to leave because, you know, you no longer had to chase me. And I'm like, no way. I've been infatuated with you way too long to give up now. I got too much invested in this. <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry. Uh, Our, well, that's cool. Yeah. Man. Uh, that, that was a really cool story. I wish I had said what I was going to say before that. Why? Uh, just because it's kind of a, a it dumb sucks. little point. Yeah. No, go ahead. No, I hear, let's hear your sucky thing. Uh, Come on, you're a corn sucker too. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's hear it. Uh, All like anybody, anybody who is like a teenager and into the Smiths now, I feel like it's kind of mandatory for them when they turn 16 to put in 16 clumsy and shy as they're like. Uh, uh, what is it called? Like their li your little description. Yeah. Like it, your bio. I I feel like everybody does that, and it's so funny. You know, it's but it the, it's true though. I bet, age, I bet Mark scrolled that into his notebook in uh in what sophomore year or whatever. Notebook. Mark never took any books to school. But <laughs> what are these books you speak of? <laughs> yeah. See, actually, though, I got away without ever reading. You know how a lot of people read novels and or had to read books for ever reading a book in through school. Two senior years though, <laughs> the best two years of my life. <laughs> my senior year, best two years. Of my life. I'm serious. It was like, the best two years of my life. Like my senior year was so good, I went for a second one. It's like in um, it's like in Better Off Dead when Charles Demar is like. Now, Lane, I'm no dummy. I've been going to the school for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's great. Yep, and and just for an update for all you people who do like the corn suckers, they are sucking really bad right now. They're losing to Minnesota, forty to twenty-one. <sighs> you know well, how bad that is. Okay, well, that's horrible. But okay, Hold so on. you guys want to move on to the next? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just let's just uh, burn through Sheila. And take a bow. Let's go to Sheila. Um, I you, love do you wanna, this. Do you want to cut right here? It's about forty-three minutes in. And just start another one. We yeah. can do another one. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a little break and come back, and so this will be one episode, and then we'll have another one for you. Yeah. yeah. And we're gonna go out on London. So how about that? All right. This is This Charming Smith's Cast with the Handsome Hooligans, Mark, Kaz, Steven. We'll see you next time. Soon. Yep. Very soon. All right. All right.